Today I'd like to show you how to crochet in a circle or what we call crocheting in the round. And there are two ways that you can start that. One is with a slip knot. So start with a slip knot and then chain two. And then you would do six single crochet stitches in the second chain from the hook. So that's six. And what you can see here is that you end up with a hole. And so that doesn't really go away if you keep crocheting around. So if you don't want a hole, there is another way that you can start crocheting in the round. So this is perfectly acceptable if you don't care about the hole, but there is another way if you don't want it. So let me show you that. And the way to avoid having the hole is to do what we call a magic circle. So I like to start with two fingers here and the end of the yarn, right like that. And then wrap that around and cross it over so you have an X right here. And then you take your hook and go under the X and grab the long end of the yarn and pull it under like that. Okay, and you can see that I have the start of a little knot here. And what I need to do is do one chain so I can lock that in there. And then to tighten it, you don't want to tighten it all the way right now, but you tighten it by just pulling on the string. And so right now we just need to do our single, our six single crochet stitches. So let me go ahead and do that. So that's six. And what I need to do to make it go in a circle is just pull and cinch it closed. And so then now you can see there's no hole. And then I can just keep going and crocheting in a circle. To do that, I need to go, just keep going around. So starting with the first stitch that I made, I'm gonna crochet in that, if I can get it in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a single crochet. Whoops, got it too far. There you go, fixed it. So pull that through, and then do another single crochet in the same stitch. So in the second row, you do two stitches in every stitch around. So then you end up having 12 stitches. Got this coming up. There we go, two stitches in each stitch around. And then for the third row, you want to do one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two in the next one. So you alternate. So do a single, and then do two. Got this pile of yarn here that's creeping up on me, okay. <laughs> so a single, and then increase one, and then increase all the way around. Okay. And so you want to just keep crocheting like that. You want to increase six stitches every time you go around. And I figured out the math on that because I wondered for a long time, why is it always six? Why does it seem like, why can you just make this bigger and bigger and bigger? You can make an entire rug that fits across your whole room as a circle if you just keep increasing six stitches in every row of single crochet stitches. And the reason is that because a single crochet, crochet stitch is basically the same width as it is tall, and the math is that 
the circumference of the circle, which is the amount that it goes all the way around the edge, right? So the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, r being the radius, which is the distance from the middle to the outside. So pi is 3.14, so 2 times pi is 6.28. So the circumference needs to be uh, 6.28 times the radius. So each time you increase a stitch, that means you need to increase six stitches around in order for it to stay in a circle. Otherwise, it'll become a tube or wavy or something like that. But if you keep increasing six, six stitches every time, it turns into a circle. So that's the math. Cool, huh? So this next round, I need to do two single crochet stitches and then increase. Go ahead and do that. Okay. And you can see though what's happening is that each time I go around, if I'm increasing in the same spot, meaning if I do one stitch between and then two stitches between and then three stitches between and keep going like that, it's going to turn into a hexagon. So you can already see there's kind of edges happening here. And let me illustrate that in something bigger here. What you can see is in orange is where I did all the double crochets. I shouldn't say double crochets, the increases, the increased stitches. And this becomes, like I said, it starts becoming a hexagon because you're increasing in the same spot every time. So you can end up with a giant hexagon if you wanted to do that. Or if you want to make it, make sure that it ends up as a circle, then let's put that there so for comparison, you need to stagger where your increased stitches are. So in this case, if I bring my work here that I was doing, so the next I should do three stitches and then another increase. But what I want to do is just do one and then in the middle here I'm going to do an increase. But then I'm going to start doing three. So one, two, three, and then increase. I'm almost to the spot where I started. And so I need to do two more single crochets so that I still have the three. I have the one that I started with before I increased and then the last two at the end after this final increase here. Okay. So you keep going like that and alternating. So the next one I would do four in a row and then increase four in a row and then increase. And then the next row after that, I would stagger it again. So do a couple of stitches and then increase and then do five and increase. And so then you just keep going like that and you get something more like this. And that you can see is much more of a circle than this other one that ends up as a hexagon. So that's how you do it. That's how you crochet in the round, crochet a circle. And again, you can make this as big as you want, just increasing st six stitches every time if you're doing single crochet. And if you wanted to not make it something flat and round, if you wanted to make, say, a drink koozie, you could stop here, because like this would be a coaster. Uh, if you wanted to make something that goes up, then you just start crocheting around without increasing and it would just make it taller. So there you go. You can now crochet in a circle.